here on Credo Station in the Western Australian goldfields, a team of top biodiversity scientists have been doing a little prospecting to discover the plants and animals that inhabit this vast former pastoral property. It's all part of a nationwide bush blitz. The bush blitz is a three-year national multi-million dollar project which is all about species discovery and it's a, a partnership uh, project between the um, Australian Government, uh, BHP Billiton and Earthwatch. Credo is part of the National Reserve System so it's been um, identified for high conservation value and also there hasn't been very much uh, survey work, baseline work that's been done here so we really don't know what's actually out here. Over 10 days, the scientists, with the help of staff from BHP Billiton and Earthwatch Australia, surveyed this 200,000 hectare property to document its plants and animals. Among the finds was a swag of species that are likely to be new to science. We'll find a number of new species of spiders. Um, they will include uh, trapdoor spiders in particular. It's one of the target groups of these surveys. So we're trying to survey them in every different bush blitz um, expedition that we've been undertaking. I'm also collecting scorpions and other arachnids. They include things like ticks and mites um, and pseudoscorpions, which are my favourite. They're like tiny little scorpions without a tail. We'll find a number of different species and some of those will be new. Gary Taylor specialises in a group of plant feeding insects called lerps or psyllids, which have not been surveyed in the goldfields region before. In just a couple of days of collecting, he found eight to ten new species and expects to find more. For botanist Dr Neil Gibson, Credo has been a wonderland for plant collecting, with its arid environment responding to good rains with a burst of spring flowering and fruiting. It's a wonderful place to have a conservation reserve because there's all this complex geology. Complex geologies give you complex soils and lots of different plant communities and lots of plants. Already we have uh, you know, collected uh, quite a lot of uh, material that uh, isn't on our list for the area. Once the day's collecting is done, it's back to the Bush Blitz makeshift lab to start the long process of sorting and identifying species much of which will be completed with DNA sequencing to confirm that suspected new species are different from their close relatives. This trip has been fantastic. The scientists that we're working alongside are amazing. Their knowledge uh, of the fauna and flora here is fantastic. It's going to be an extremely important project um, in discovering the species that are here and providing those lists so we can help manage this type of reserve. The final tally is expected to include a swag of new invertebrate species, as well as a much better understanding of the plants, mammals and reptiles that inhabit this stunning yet arid environment.